Pierce, Florida is my hometown. I grew up in Fort Pierce when it was nothing more than a tiny sleeping fishing village where people could leave their doors unlocked and people knew who you were. I went to school here, I played here, and I got married 30 years ago right here in this town. We're headed to Roma's to go get a nice sub. Everybody, we're here at Roma Bakery in Fort St. Lucie, Florida at the corner of US1 and Rio Mar. And I'm just so excited to be here and to have a sub. Joe, tell us what you like about Roma. I've been coming here ever since 84. The best rolls you'd ever want to taste. And especially when you're with good old friends. No play on the old though, right? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I was about five or six years old our neighbors Virgil and Bonnie would let me stay the night on Friday night and on Saturday morning around sunrise we would go out to the jetty to pick up shells back then the shells were always big very colorful and they were always in one piece
Connor, Joe, Peggy, and Corey eating Danish and drinking coffee. So this morning, after we went to see the sunrise, Corey, Joe, Peggy, and I decided that we would come over to downtown Fort Pierce, over by the marinas, to the farmer's market. They have it every Saturday. It's a very large area, and they have vendors set up over there and we have vendors over here and you can walk along. They have like a little walkway that you can walk around and just really see a lot of downtown Fort Pierce. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Here's the Tiki Bar that I understand they said they were gonna close, which is sad because it's been there for the longest time. Um, you have Peacock's Landing down over here they have live music at night and then there's a whole downtown area off over there there's a like a really nice downtown there's a big sunrise theater with a lot of stuff but Fort Pierce is just it's just such a nice place it really is and if you get an opportunity to come come on a Saturday morning and come down to the little farmers market because it's really really nice there's so much stuff well, I think we're going to head back to the house so I can shower. We will talk to you later. We're sitting right. here walking around through the uh, Fort Pierce Farmer's Market while we're down here visiting, and we stumble across this guy that's making fish dip with uh, this sauce that is just absolutely incredible. Smack daddies. So we're going to show you the sauce, and we're going to let him describe it to you a little bit. It's Macy's Smoked Fish and Dip. Well, I was going to let him do it, but... Well, he's still going to do it, but I had to read, sorry. Her mouth had to move, so... <laughs> hey, guys, good morning. We got some homemade hot sauce. Put a little guava juice and a hint of mustard. It's a little sweet before the heat. It's loaded with flavor. It's great on everything, especially our homemade smoked fish dip. All locally caught fish. We smoke it fresh with fruit wood. Yep, that's it. Everybody you said loves it was the sauce. Preservative free and stuff? Yep, dairy free, gluten free, no preservatives, and we make it fresh every week. Awesome. When I was in high school, we would go out to the savannas and we would go four-wheeling in trucks and three-wheelers and four-wheelers and we'd just go out in there and just have so much fun playing in the mud. Here it is, here it is. Chance, These right? old guys are really messing with me. Y'all, this is Mike, the uh, owner of Lures. He has something to tell you. Come on down, we got a great breakfast going on. Buddy Mary's is steak and eggs. Can't beat it.
It was great spending time with my friends from high school, John, Mike, and Tammy. Every Sunday during the summer, the city of Stewart puts on free concerts on the river at Rockin' River Walk. It's free to the public and you can go out and enjoy live music. that we're having an issue with our tire. So we have to go buy a new one. So we're headed to Walmart. Yay, Walmart. He has one tire left and never, ever, ever is it the cheapest tire ever. But fortunately, we have Lulu to entertain us. She's currently eating ice out of my cup. She's thirsty. And I didn't want her to be without. I'm not gonna be able to sit down. This thing on, are we in there? Are we in there? Oh, I need my sunglasses, it's too bright. Are we in there? Can you see us? Oh, much better. It's not oh, as bright. Yeah, there we are, there okay. We are. All right, good. Oh. Hi. Hi. Is my hair out of place? No, it's fine. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll fix it. I know the breeze is blowing so much here on yes. the beach, you know? Gotta yes. watch out, my hair might get flying away. Yes, the beach. Yes. It's lovely on the beach. If only we were really on the beach. Yeah, if only. We're not. We're in Georgia. We have left the beach. My eyes are really closed. I'm not really watching y'all. I'm thinking about that. Well, we are just really happy that we were able to take you to a special place this week. It was my our hometown. It is. It was Corey's hometown. He's one of the flu floor. <laughs> He's one of the few Florida natives. Yep, that's me. And we went to Fort Pierce, Florida, which is where he was born, and we both grew up there. We certainly want to shout out to Dave and Kirsten, and Joe and Peggy, and Tammy and Ron, or they let us stay with them. And we really, really appreciate it. The beds were oh so comfy, and the hospitality was amazing. And you put up with our crazy dogs, and just thank you so much. And thank you to Dan and Jen for letting Michael spend the night with William. We hope that you enjoy our travel through Fort Pierce. There, there was so much more we wanted to go and do. There's a seal museum there. There's an aquarium. Well, a Navy seal museum. Yeah, not like a uh, 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 kind of seal. <laughs> There's a Navy seal museum. There's the aquarium. There's the manatee center. Which I did shoot a small video from the second floor of the observation deck. There really is a lot to see and do in Fort Pierce, and that's one of the reasons we are so dedicated to becoming full-time RVers, is so that next time we can go back and stay for two or three weeks, and then we can go see all these things and do all these things. There's a whole lot to do there, and there's a lot of history there. They call it the Treasure Coast for a reason, and I challenge you to go to Fort Pierce and discover why. It is definitely a place worth putting on your bucket list. Is that all we got? I think that's all we have. Our cheat sheet. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Or trying to. Well, anyway, 
Hey, you know, if you find this video informative or you like it or you just want to have a conversation with us, leave us a comment. If you have a little place that you want to go or that you like that you think we might like, leave us a comment. And don't forget that subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll know every time we have a new video coming out. Yeah, yeah, because you know you want to watch us. Yes. Yes. Even we want to watch us. <laughs> we hope that you find us entertaining. Please leave comments. If you're going to visit Fort Pierce and you need to know places to go, let us know. We know all the best places to eat and visit. We know where all the locals hang out, so you don't have to go to the um, chain restaurants, franchise restaurants. We know all the good places to eat out on the beach. Archie's. The little Italian place down in Stewart. Can't remember the Bruce name. Terry's. No, the other place that Tammy and Ron took us. Luna's. Luna's. Was it Luna's? Yeah. Okay. My, his memory's better than mine. Huh? What? Who exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> well, anyway, we hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. We thank you ahead of time, so you better do it. Thank you so much, and until next time. Happy trails. I missed it. <laughs>